we're on the train going to Holland and we've just crossed the border and if you look behind me that must be the Dutch countryside there's trucks behaving yourself she's finding it very difficult to behave herself we've had a good time in Germany and we're looking to have a really good time in Holland you can see here we've made it to Holland look at all the bikes hundreds of them parked at the station our first stop in Holland was a place called Barn so we've come into a bike shop in Barn and look at all the kits you can get to go with your bikes look at all this I met Robert Harrams that's the gentleman there in his bike shop in Barn in Holland and he has five shops ah and how long have you had this shop five years five years yes. and it's going good very good yes i can see that yes. look at all the bikes you've got well, they're magnificent yes. so if you need a bike in holland the place to come is to see robert harrams so i'm here looking at all the bikes and they're all locked up but this one there not only is it locked off they've taken the seat as well you won't be pinching that bike have a picture of where the king and queen of Holland used to live but they moved out and I can see why it was a bit small oh wrong building this tell us about this place that I'm filming Charlotte this is Palais Soestijk Utrecht in the Netherlands the former palace of King uh, no Queen Juliana and King Consort Prince Bernard and why did they move out of here because the royal family resides in Bosna and the Hague currently, no longer in Sustak. So they moved out because they've got a bigger pile of dirt to move into. Cool. Next we visited the town called Grilla, found some nice cheeses and some good things to eat. So we've made it into the city of Leiden. How old is Leiden? It's very old. Right, so there and we've just passed through the gate there of Leiden that used to protect against the Spanish and the bridge in front of us is a drawbridge that goes over a canal that goes all around the city of Leiden and as you can see it's a typical Dutch place look at all the bicycles that they have lots and lots and there's a bicycle rider look, look at her go oh, fast Got lots of old buildings. Looks pretty good. And did Leiden have a wall around it? Yeah. Yeah. It had a, it had a wall. wall. And yeah, does yeah. the wall still yeah. exist? Yeah, a part of it is on the left. Part of it so, still uh, exists. Yes. Yeah, we can I can maybe show you. Uh, yeah. And this person has got a big enough chain on there to make sure you understand you can't steal the bike. We're in the city of Leiden in Holland and it's a beautiful place. Got a dry cleaners behind us and you can see the main street of the town running behind us. Down the street that we're going, at the end of it, is where they used to hang people. Uh, around here they used to hang people and they've got a canal with some great looking boats on. Look at those. I wonder if people live on them. Look at the size of these. And you've got a windmill in the distance there. There's the old Dutch bricks. They're a bit smaller size than the bricks we use in Australia. Look at that. All the different bonds. So it looks like this place existed in 1612. Municipal construction yard built in 1612 for the city's carpenters, stonemasons and bricklayers. The, the facade is original. So this place inside was built for stonemasons and carpenters and other tradespeople. Looks pretty impressive. 
people do live on the boats. So this is the drawbridge that we came across before. Who'd have thought that? It looks quite different from this angle. There's the canal. Can you imagine the Spanish on the other side of the canal waving their spears and banging their swords on their shields saying, come on you Dutch people, let us in. And the Dutch people are saying, go away, go away. We'll throw boiling oil on you if you come through our gates and we'll shoot our cannons at you. Ooh. And the carpenters and the stonemasons and the metal workers were all working in the yard behind, busily making new cannons and cannonballs to shoot at the Spanish standing on the other side of the canal. And hold on, Trudge. What what are you pointing at there, Trudge? That means Gallows Street. This is the Gallows Street. Okay. Yeah, and any Spanish that had come in here, we'd have stuck them on the gallows and hung them and drawn and quartered them. Yeah. Now we've got a picture of Rembrandt's house. There, it's got a plaque on the wall. Is that Rembrandt's house? Here behind us. There? It looks new. Did they have plastic cladding in his time? This is called a grandma's bike due to its old style. And this is another view of Leiden. It's about 10 o'clock in the morning in early spring. As well as contending with the Spanish, you also had the French under Napoleon who came around Leiden and controlled it for a while, but they've all cleared off now. Straight in front of us is the Webster University in Leiden, and they have a lot of international students here as well. We're still walking around in Leiden and we're having a great time. Look at the street behind me. It's old, well kept. Looks great. It's a little bit chilly here, but I'd imagine in the summer it would be absolutely beautiful. The trees would be out and it would be warm. You could walk down and find a cafe, sit on the street front, have a glass of beer or a coffee. It would be pretty good. Underneath the street sign, you can see the key signs, and that is the city sign of Leiden, it must be their coat of arms. There we are looking up the street and in summer Robert tells us that these canals are all full of boats. All the visitors come to Leiden. That's the Webster University in front of us. They get plenty of international students there. And if we go up a bit further you can see there's another bridge across the canal into Leiden. So I'm now with Robert and Robert is telling me about the building that's in front of us there, which you can see where it says Hudson Bay on it, the big building on the corner. So what were yeah. you saying about that so building, Robert? Basically on the right, the building is called the Waag. Yeah. And the Waag is where they weigh all the stuff they traded. So uh, that's really famous. A right. building here in, in, in Leiden. And did they, did the people after it was weighed have to pay a duty on it yes, for using the port? Yeah, true. Yeah, you have to pay for all the trade you have here. Right. So it's and how far away from the ocean are we here? Um, I think it's maybe uh, 15 kilometers. 15 kilometers. Yeah. So it's not right. really far. And did stuff used to come up the canals from the ocean into the, yeah. in, into the main part yeah. of by boat. Holland. Yeah, yeah, we came here. Yeah, yeah. And what about is what's the population of uh, 
Light and now. Um, I think there were there are like 130,000 people. Right. Now. Yeah. And is that changing much or? Yeah, it's growing really it's growing. fast. Yeah. Going yeah. fast. And True. of course, there are universities here. Yeah. So we have lots of students. Yeah. Yeah. And on these canals that are behind us, you were saying there you could see them in the summer. What happens in the summer on these canals? Well, we have lots of festiv festivities yeah. because of all of these students. So there's boats with music and everybody's dancing. Um, so it's really a lot of fun here. A lot of fun in the here. Summer. Okay, so thank you, Robert. Well, Robert's telling us all about Leiden. He used to live here when he was younger. And obviously he'd come down here and go dancing on the waterfront. Here's a canal going underneath the bridge. And on the left-hand side, you can see a little towpath. Can you imagine the barges being towed along with a horse and the horse walking along the towpath, bringing the goods into the town? And this is a most famous uh, cafe straight in front of us. And this is the old town hall of Leiden but they moved it closer to the station about 10 years ago. We found a more traditional cafe to have coffee and cakes and I got to meet up with the long arm of the law. There's Trudge looking at a picture of Rembrandt. She was having a great The time. town's waking up a bit now and you can see here. all the cafes are starting to put their put their um, tables out and there's people sitting down having coffee look at that all along the canals You've got to be careful you get run over with a bike here right and everywhere you go there's bicycles and bar bicycles and you can tell the Dutch people are fairly tall people look at the size of that bike yes you got to touch the pedals. <laughs> Go on, Trudge. On you get. Show us how to get on the bike. Ah, right. And down. Lovely alleyways into the town. Yeah. Bicycles and bicycles. Here we are. Here's another gate leading into the old town of Leiden. There's the church behind us. It's finished dinging. Lots of bikes. <laughs> Look at this. So now we're at the old fort of Leiden and we're going to go up. Look, you can see it behind me. We're going to go up to the old fort and check it out. And this is inside the fort. There's Trudge going up to the ramparts where she could shoot arrows at the Spanish that were trying to get in here. Or possibly the French. You don't know. Pretty good fort. The only problem being is you'd probably run out of water after a while and you'd be besieged and taken out. Well. <laughs> I'm now standing outside the fort and looking at the town that is below. There will be. A... Just imagine you were attacking this castle up on the top. You've come from all down the bottom there. You've had to world your way up and people have been shooting arrows and shooting guns at you. And you get up to the top here and then you get to the bottom and there's the ramparts that you've got to climb to get to the top. And you've got people shooting arrows at you through little slits here. There, wow, pretty good. Okay, then you go beating on the door Rat-a-tat-tat, -tat, let me in. And when you come to try to get in this door, the door's made of metal and timber and quite thick. 
and you can see they shut the door and then they get a great lump of timber like this and they shove it across through there and through into a hole on the other side and you're thumping away at the door trying to get in and people are shooting arrows at you and there's guns banging and things clanging and you're a Spanish invader and you've got the Dutch people say go away you go away you people this is our town this is our town of Leiden there and the Dutch people are beating away the invaders and they're up on the ramparts in their castle and it looks like the Maoris have been here and left a uh, left a uh, a totem pole. Oh look, I found the gang. They're all here. Look at them. And my niece has even brought her bed blanket with her. She makes sure nobody pinches it off her in the bed because she got a hole in it and stuck it over her head. Um, and there's some more big gates and you could just imagine the Spanish there banging on the gates trying to get in and they're tipping boiling oil over them. Oh, what a place. I don't think I'd have liked to have been here when the Spanish were invading. But anyway, that's Leiden Castle. So I'm in Holland and look how close the houses are built together and yet people seem to be live, able to live quite okay in close proximity to each other. I wonder if we could do this in Australia. Have the cities with a little more density, which makes it viable to have decent public transport and be able to ride your bike around because everything's just that little bit closer together. What do you reckon? So that was Holland. We found old towns, big clogs to fill, lots of great cheese shops, and even the McDonald's where they had a loo you could use. Great place. We're at Rotterdam Station now, on our way back to England, on the express train under the ocean to catch our plane Rotterdam back to Malaysia. Station and on towards home. Bye for now. We'll see you on our next adventure. Bye.